Do you ever feel overwhelmed when you're trying to learn how to trade? It's almost like there's, you know, a thousand different things to learn and you may think, oh, I'm never going to get all this. Well, I used to feel like this too whenever I first started, but it was because I didn't know where to focus on the right things. But when you do it correctly, trading is actually pretty easy. But it's just hard because you don't have the right direction. So in this video, I'm going to show you the important parts of building a trading strategy and how to analyze your performance and make sure that you're on the right track and always improving. Now, before I mastered this skill, I was consistently blowing accounts. I was never able to stay profitable. Any money that I made, I would end up giving back to the markets. But after I was able to hone in and start taking this serious and treating it like a real business, I was not only able to become profitable, but I started stacking payouts. I was even able to make 100,000 in a single month and I was able to retire my parents and I pretty much do whatever I want, travel the world and take care of my family, which if you ask me, is pretty cool. But I would have never been able to do this had I just kept watching videos and kept trying to throw things at the wall and hope that it stuck. So I wanna share with you the way that I look at data as a trader and the way that I look at building a good trading system it's gonna give you confidence while you trade. It's gonna take the edge off of things. You're not gonna hesitate. You're not gonna be in fear. And most importantly, you're not gonna be torn to pieces when you take a loss. Because I remember whenever I would first start trading, as soon as I really wanted to do this for the long term, I would just get so, so upset with myself if I wasn't trading well. It was like no matter what I did, I would you know, spend hours and hours watching videos, writing notes, doing all these things, trying to study, reading trading books. But every time that I took a loss, it was just like the end of the world. And I always like to put it like this. Most of you guys are trying to trade for your career, but you treat every trade like your entire career depends on it. Now, the reason you're doing this and the reason why I did it for years before I became successful is because you don't really understand how to trade. Now, you may think you do, but if you're not profitable, then you don't, okay? That's just, that's why you're here and that's okay. Most people don't make money in the markets. But the reason for that is because most people just go and watch videos, they don't ever systematize what they're doing, and subconsciously you know this. When you go out into the markets and you try to execute, you know that you really don't know if this strategy has an edge. Or if it does have an edge, what is your expectancy? How many losses can you expect to lose in a row? Now if you knew these things, then you would probably be able to be a much more consistent trader. And that's what I'm gonna help you do in this video. Now, the reason why this is so important is most of you self-sabotage yourself by trying to learn how to trade. What you do is you go through this death cycle of, you know, we'll say YouTube, you're trying to learn how to trade, right? You buy a course, okay? Then you go to a Discord. Then what happens? You try to trade, and guess what? Before you even know it, before you have anything built up, you go right back in this feedback loop, buy a new course, join a new Discord, and you may be on this hamster wheel forever if you're not careful. Now the key thing that's missing here is learning how to build a system. And, and a lot of people think that, oh, my entry model is my system. That's not the case, because I'm gonna go way deeper than that and show you how you can focus on treating trading just like any Fortune 500 company treats their business, which is by identifying the lowest hanging fruit. So what we're gonna get into is how to look at everything and say, okay, this is the path of least resistance that's gonna turn you into a profitable trader. And you'll be surprised at what, how close most of you guys actually are. And the answer is not to try to master the chart or learn everything. The answer is just to figure out where you have a weakness and attack that weakness relentlessly. And that's the only thing you focus on one thing at a time. And having the discipline to do that is what separates people who are effective from people who are just dreamers who are just these hopeless people that have ambition, that work hard, but never get anywhere. And this goes for trading or anything in life. So you can take what I'm gonna teach you in today's video and apply it to your business, your life, or whatever, and it's gonna help you run laps around people. And I'm sure that you have met people or seen people that you just wonder, how do they get so far ahead? How do they have the time to do all this? And the reality is we all have the same amount of time, but some people are much more effective. And this is why people will take either years or maybe months to become a successful trader and it's not because one person is smarter than the other or they had this holy grail strategy, it's because they understand the game of trading. And what most people fall victim to is information overload. Because when you start learning to trade, you know, you have these complicated charts, there's all the financial data, there's all this stuff that goes into trading. And you know, if you ask most people about, you know, hey, you know, do you understand this chart? Most people can't even explain what a candlestick is. And everybody gets really intimidated and thinks they have so many things to learn. When in reality, if you focus on the right things, it becomes a lot simpler and you wanna filter out a lot of the bad information that's out there that's going to just slow you down in your journey. So let's take a look at the step-by-step -step process to figuring out exactly the path you need to take and where you need to place your focus in order to become profitable. 
So this is gonna be different for everybody, but it's gonna be the same strategy on how to do it. Because what we're gonna do is focus on what's easy to fix, and we're gonna find what you're good at. And there's a very easy way to do this, and it's by going through this proven process. This is the same thing that businesses do when they analyze their data and find what they're gonna focus on. You know, you hear about people doing projections or you know quarterly targets and quarterly goals. This is how those are found, okay? I'm the CEO of a pretty big company, and I also have ran multiple companies, and this is exactly how I treat trading, just like my business. And this is what's gonna set you apart from 95% of people. And you're not gonna see this talked about that much in this channel, and I may have even lost a lot of you guys, but that doesn't really matter to me because for the people who are serious, who want to really learn how to do this right, I know you guys are gonna watch this. This is the boring stuff that will make you into a profitable trader. I put a lot of videos out about strategies, about different concepts and all this stuff, and I know that's your guys' favorite, I don't even care if this video does good. I'm putting this out there for those who are actually about this business. When we start, we always wanna find our baseline. Now, we're gonna really focus on two metrics, which are win rate and risk to reward, because you can focus on a ton of other things, you know, different data points, but they all lead back to these two. So the key with any kind of data is analyzing the big, broad picture and finding where there are problems before you dissect. Otherwise, you just dissect tons of data and all of the data, it's like, great, we have this huge spread sheet of stuff, but one thing about data is that if you don't have an ability to extract insight from the data, then it doesn't matter. You just feel productive, similar to somebody who has a to-do list of 100 things on Notion, and then the person never gets anything done, right? You get exhausted in the process, so we're gonna avoid that. And it's common for that to happen to people. It happened to me whenever I you know, first started all this stuff. But after we find your baseline and what your averages are, where you're at now, we're gonna analyze your weaknesses and find the lowest hanging fruit. And most of the time, it's something completely different than what you think it is. I've never found someone that I've worked with that actually knew what it was at first, to this day. After that, you're gonna set targets for 30 days. Now, a lot of you guys, 30 days, that feels like forever. But if you spend all of your time focused on 100 different things, your time is not well spent. And you have to look at time as capital. And in, in reality, time is the most high valuable thing that you have, whether or not you're making money right now. A lot of people judge it off of how much money you're making per hour. I don't look at it like that. What I look at it as is time is what's gonna earn you everything else. If you don't put your time in the right place when learning how to trade, it's not gonna give you money. It's not gonna give you freedom. It's not gonna give you time back later. So the ROI on your time is going to depend on where you focus. Where do you place all your focus? And if you have it spread apart 100 different things, guess what, you never get anywhere. It's just, it's the truth. You, you probably won't become profitable watching 150 videos you watch on YouTube, but you may become profitable by implementing everything you learn from three to four of them, okay? Something you guys really gotta get your head around. And look, I want you guys to watch all my YouTube videos. I, I work hard and make YouTube awesome. But at the end of the day, I don't care if it detriments me. I want you guys to get off of this app, take what you learned from a couple of my videos, and then apply something like this, and just learn to trade. Because I know at the end of the day, that's gonna provide you more value than watching a dozen or 50 different videos because more information is not necessarily better. So after you set targets, we're going to go for a quarterly review and we're gonna work from new baselines and restart the process. And you're gonna be able to continue to do this. And if you can just focus and fix one thing per month, if you could just fix one metric or one of the mistakes you're making right now that is causing you to not be profitable, if you could just do one per month, that's 12 big improvements in a year. Most of you guys are way closer to being profitable than 12 huge improvements. But whenever you focus on tons of different things, you'll just never get there. So always wanna focus on one thing at a time and have the discipline to do that. Now we're gonna go over today the theory behind this and then I'm gonna walk you through an example with a sample set of data. That way you know how to implement it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is get the last 100 trades of data. Now if you don't have this, don't freak out. Just start tracking your trades now, and then you'll be able to do this whenever you can. Now, most of the time, if you just go sign up for TradeZella, you can get this. Like, you literally have your broker. You can export that and put it into TradeZella. Super important that you do this. Now, this may look very complicated. All it is, only data we need is each trade number in the balance, because that's going to tell you everything we need, which is just win rate, average risk reward. The way this is going to be calculated is your average profit versus your average loss. And then you know, win rate is just how many trades did you win, how many trades did you lose. So we're gonna come back to this example throughout this video as I show you and walk you through how you would transform this. But notice right now, 0.5 risk to reward and a 60% win rate. So I'm gonna tell you which metric and how to figure out which one to focus on, but just know that this is negative 9,500 for 100 trades, not good. 
but I'm gonna show you how we're gonna take this strategy from being negative 9,000 or 9,500 to over $20,000 in expected profit from just making one small shift that literally any of you can do, no matter your understanding of ICT or anything at all. Super easy, so pay close attention. So when you're finding your baseline, you wanna collect important metrics such as we just talked about. Mainly it's gonna be win rate, average risk reward, and total trades. Now the more detailed your data, the better. You want to try to include the time of day, the asset traded, the trade duration, and the session that you're trading in. Now if you're just getting started, just focus on this because I don't want you guys to get overwhelmed. This is all just you know, icing on the cake, and you'll get into that later because you'll realize it's actually not that bad to collect this data. And it gives you confidence, which is what most of you guys are lacking. Next, we're gonna to wanna to filter and refine the data. So we're gonna break it down by asset type and time windows. Now these are the really important things that are gonna help you refine an edge. A lot of people wanna go by every entry model. You shouldn't be trading a ton, but the main things are, like let's just say if you have five entry models and you say, oh, well, this entry model is better than the next, but the way that you're gonna figure out that in actuality, or maybe that you need to use multiple, is by figuring out where do you make your money and where do you lose it, and at what times of day. Because if you can figure those things out, not only do you trade better, but you remove yourself from the markets instead of sitting in front of your screen all hours of the day, which your mental capital is just depleting the longer you sit in front of that chart. I know most of you guys will agree, the longer you sit in front of a screen, the less performance you, you have. Now you wanna look for patterns in this performance. So you wanna say, okay, maybe I trade futures really well in the mornings. That's what I did, and that's now all I trade. I really just trade NQ, I trade it from 9.30 to 10.30 in the morning. Had I not done this with my data, I would just be sitting here from nine to four trading NQ, ES, YM, looking at all these different charts. And I probably wouldn't be sitting here talking to you guys because I wouldn't be profitable or had made money. And this is where most of you guys get stuck at. But most of you don't wanna do this boring work. A lot of you guys are like, oh, I'm not gonna do this. And if that's you, then you just should stop because you're lazy, okay? You're never gonna make it in this business as long as you think like that. And you have the choice to not think like that. But if you wanna think like that, you will be a low performing human being in everything you do. Just accept that. So if the gratification you get from just not putting any kind of mental effort into something is greater than becoming successful, if that's more important to you, then you probably should just quit trying to do anything like trading or running your own business or being above average, okay? Then you should just stop. But if you wanna be serious at things, you have to do this boring stuff and that's what's gonna set you apart from most people because most people aren't gonna do it. So what we're gonna do in terms of analyzing weakness, we wanna identify the strengths along with the weaknesses. We wanna focus really on win rate and risk to reward. Where are you strong and where are you underperforming? So if you have a high win rate and a low risk to reward, then the low risk to reward is likely to be the weak point. So what I deem as low risk to reward is anything less than two. And a low win rate is anything less than 40%. Now you can be profitable with both of these. Let me be clear. You can be profitable with a one risk to reward if you have a high win rate. Because profitability is just a relationship between those two but it's not that easy to get that high of a win rate for most traders. So these are like acceptable. If it's under this, that's where you need to focus. Now, if they're both under that, then you focus on the one that's the lowest. The goal is to find the quickest win because humans are creatures of winning. Like we get rewarded when we have progress. And if you have built any momentum in learning any skill, you know that you just learn better. You start making better decisions because you've started to build that rational confidence that, hey, this is working for me. So you wanna start with some kind of metric that can be adjusted without changing your entire strategy. Because we're not gonna change the overall framework of what we're doing, we're just gonna look for small little things that you can improve without changing the overall system. Because most of the time, you guys don't have just this terrible, awful strategy. You know, you may have trouble sticking to one strategy, which this will help with as well, but if you were to just stick to one thing, over 100 trades, you'd find that your results probably aren't that bad if you're actually using a system. Now, I have tons of different systems on this channel that you can learn from, but please don't use all of them. I see some people in the comments sometimes say, oh, this guy has, why, do you trade all these strategies? No, obviously not, okay? Like, don't, don't do that, just trade one. Focus on one, I back test them all, they all work, okay? You just have to make sure you stick to one. So the point in this is to figure out where your weakness is, and that's gonna be the low hanging fruit. You know, where can you make those small adjustments that yield big results? And you wanna think like an investor. Where can you get the biggest ROI on your time and focus? What we're gonna be doing, instead of trying to change your strategy, is you're gonna just change the way you find your targets, adjusting your stop loss, or reducing the number of trades by being more selective. And this is gonna come by time, so being more selective with when you trade and with what assets you trade. 
That's how you're gonna do this right here. So it's important to understand this because a lot of you guys aren't just focusing on one time a day and one asset. And that alone could be the lowest hanging fruit that fixes your strategy. But the key here is to keep it simple, please. Do not get overwhelmed because when you get overwhelmed, you don't do anything. And when you try to do everything at once, like most people wanna do, you're not gonna get anywhere. So focus on one thing at a time. The discipline to focus on one thing relentlessly and putting all of your focus on this one thing and being deliberate with your time and energy is what's going to separate the highly effective trader from the unprofitable trader, I promise you. All right, so let's go back to that example of a half risk reward, just 0.5, which is very low, and just take a look at the expectancy and everything in this. So even with a 60% win rate right here, like let's just say this is your trade setup. You may think, oh my God, I'm so, so, so far from being profitable. But if we take a look at this example, you're actually closer than you think. So we obviously have a good risk to reward because it is greater than 40%. Remember it's 40% or 2R. So if it's 2R, right, if it's under that, it's under 2R, this is what we're gonna focus on. We're way under 2R. So this is the lowest hanging fruit. It's not hard to get a little bit more risk to reward. Again, I have the video in the description for how you're gonna be able to get at least multiples added onto your risk to reward. So now let's take a look at this same exact strategy. Same number of trades. Right here, we are at an expectancy of making negative $9,500. So losing $9,500, not making anything. And where is this gonna go? Boom, to $21,000 just by adding one risk reward. Nothing else changed. Most of you guys don't realize how close you actually are. Just by adding one risk reward, by using something that I'm giving you for free in the description. It's a link on YouTube, it's not gonna it's not gonna give you a new strategy. It's not gonna overcomplicate anything. It's literally just gonna help you trail your stop losses. One change like that can turn you to a profitable trader. And not only a profitable trader, but a very profitable trader. And this is just using a $50,000 account, which you can get on Apex or any of these other futures prop firms for pennies, dirt cheap, okay? So trading is not as hard as a lot of you guys think. You're just not focusing on the right areas. That's literally all that changed here was just changing the risk to reward and adding one R multiple. One, that's all you have to do. Now let's talk about how we're gonna set goals. So you always wanna think on a quarterly basis and we're never gonna set more than three goals. So three specific improvements. So for example, let's just say if it was, you know, risk to reward, you want to make that your first focus. Later, you might work on refining trade setups or enhancing what time you trade or win rate based metrics. But you're gonna focus on just getting better risk to reward at first, not changing anything else and sticking to that for that entire month. And you wanna weekly and daily and everything, just keep reviewing your progress so you know if you're making anything. And it'll also keep you aware. Now, there's something called the Hawthorne effect. And this states that if you are being measured or you're, you know, you're tracking things, you will perform better. Whether it's you tracking it or someone else, science has literally proven this. So make sure that you're tracking everything you're doing and really just staying on course for these 30 day sprints. So each goal should just be broken down to a 30 day sprint where you just focus on that one metric. I know it may be hard, but keep your attention on just one area for those 30 days. Stop watching videos, stop trying to learn new things, get off Twitter and just focus on what you're doing. You're not here to be a part of some kind of, you know, freaking drama thing like you see on Twitter or learning 100,000 different strategies. Like you're here to make money. And this is the kind of shit that's gonna actually help you make money. Again, like I said, daily and weekly reviews. For every hour spent trading, spend an equal amount of time reviewing. So if you trade for an hour a day, spend an hour reviewing everything. Look at the way the market reacted from key levels. What was your plan before the market? Did it play out? Did you follow your rules? Now these are all a bunch of things that are just gonna make you into a more aware trader, which is gonna make you better. And this is gonna always make sure that you focus on improving that specific goal. So everything that you focus on, you just need to focus on that only, okay? Go back, recap the market, and just look on how you could have improved that one thing. Where could your stop loss have been? Where could you have taken profits a little further? Things like that. And this is gonna be the most critical part because learning, it's similar to, like let's say if, if a child puts their hand on a stove. People are gonna say, oh, well he learned not to do that. Like that'll teach him. So what is the learning? Is the learning actually putting the hand on the stove and getting the information, hey, this is hot? Or is the learning just not doing it again? You see, learning is actually changing your behavior. Learning isn't just intaking information. Otherwise, everybody who watched all the videos on YouTube would be profitable. 
You have to actually take action and change what you're doing. And the only way you're gonna do that is by constantly, constantly analyzing yourself and staying aware because it's really easy to just start executing mindlessly, just going out in the market and doing a bunch of random stuff. Now, yes, I understand, this is hard, it's boring. This isn't another no daily bias strategy where you're gonna feel, wow, that's so fun, I'm gonna go try to my chart. This is what's actually gonna make you money, okay? If you're still watching this, then you're way beyond most people because most people I lost very early in this video or they didn't even click on it because they don't think this is important. But really what that is, is that they're lazy. They, they want to tell themselves, oh, I'm learning to trade, I'm learning this new skill. But in reality, they're never gonna make it. If, if this is the kind of stuff you avoid, you won't be good at trading. It's just that plain and simple. And any money that you do make, you'll end up blowing it all. And you won't have confidence and trading will be stressful and you'll probably end up giving up like most people. And this discipline is what is gonna separate profitable traders from those who struggle for years and probably just give up. So please commit to studying one thing at a time, okay? I promise you, this focus will pay off. At the end of every quarter, you're gonna find your new baselines. So you'd go back and revisit and see where you can improve. Because there's always somewhere you can improve. And you never wanna just change up your entire strategy. You just wanna do the same process we did. Just review the key metrics like win rate, risk to reward, where you're trading better, what times you're trading better. And it's going to show you how much progress you've made and it's gonna help you always be focused and aware on what you're doing. And that way your effort is deliberate and you're not just sitting down mindlessly gonna push buttons and then not review anything and just get on the hamster wheel that most traders never make it off of. You're actually going to treat this like a business and grow quarter over quarter, year over year, become a better trader. You also wanna just analyze what worked well that you tried and what didn't. Because here's another thing that a lot of you guys may have forgot. You may go a whole quarter and not have hit your goals. That's gonna happen. Some companies do that. That's when companies sell off in the stock market. It happens. It's gonna happen at some point, that's okay. But this is also feedback. This is very valuable feedback because you're gonna understand what didn't work. And this is something that Charlie Munger talks about, Elon Musk talks about, is inversion thinking. If you know what doesn't work, then just do the exact opposite. For example, let's say if you wanted to grow a big business, right? You can figure out what are the things that the same big businesses who have failed in that industry have done and what you can do that's the exact opposite of that. I know it sounds like, wow, mind blowing, but, but most people don't think like that. That's, that's the value that you have and that turns everything into a growth mindset instead of just being upset that you didn't you know, become rich in three months. So be honest with yourself. You have good data, be 100% with yourself. You know, did you actually focus on one metric? Did you, did you focus on it and it didn't work? Do you need to make further adjustments of this metric? Th this is critical because the only person that's gonna be responsible for you in this business is you. You don't have a team that's gonna help you. You don't have employees. You don't have a boss. It's all on you. Nobody cares if you fail. Nobody cares if you win. A big thing I want you to focus on is evaluating the discipline and performance of actually doing this. Because in the beginning, it's gonna be really, you know, did you stick to your 30-day sprints and maintain focus? Did you deviate from your plan? Why did you deviate? What helped you? What kind of lifestyle choices were you making? Are you really doing everything that adds up to you saying you wanna be a good trader? Be real with yourself, right? You have to stay disciplined in the process itself, like how you're doing it, just as much as your discipline in trading or analyzing trades, because it's all synergistic to you becoming successful. And then you're going to restart this entire process, okay? That's the last step of the quarterly review. You just do this over and over and over again until you reach consistent profitability, and even after that. This is what businesses do. Like even Apple, huge businesses are always setting quarterly goals. They're reviewing all of their metrics. If they're a public company, there are tons of financial analysts reviewing everything. Their EBITDA, their cost of customer, their lifetime value, all of these metrics for a business are getting reviewed and they're gonna find the weakest link and attack it. And that's where all of the resources for the company are gonna go. And that's how companies are effective versus mom and pop shops that just run around and have one guy doing everything and don't know how to run a business. And this is also equivalent to how most traders just run around trying to learn everything in the world and have no idea what they're doing. So don't be like that. Just take the time to do these small things and I promise you, you will go farther than if you didn't do it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I have tons of different videos on strategies that you can take and go and start this process on. And I teach everything you need to become profitable all here for free on YouTube. I'll leave links to a couple different strategies in the description as well that you can watch so you can apply this whole strategy building to that strategy that you're gonna learn. And please remember that this isn't gonna happen overnight. Notice I said quarterly reviews, multiple of them. You need to invest time into this. But the main thing is that you never give up. You can do all of this on your own. 
But if you want me to help you with this process, if you want to trade live with me and learn my full approach to the markets, have me review your trades and help you directly with every step that you need, get you an accountability coach, every last thing that you need, then go ahead and click the link in the description to become a funded trader in 12 weeks guaranteed. And if you do everything that I tell you to do, you show up to the calls, you trade with me, and you still don't get funded, then I will personally trade live with you until you do. So go ahead and click the link in the description and I'll see you guys either in the next video or when I'm working directly with you. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.